Hey everybody, it's Cyber Gaming Studios, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how to actually to stream and as well pre-record on your Android device. Now, we're going to be still going to talk about two different things, and I hope. And before we get started, I hope you guys did enjoy my early Home Alone Christmas um, remix. Um, this team, I'm going to be doing remixes um, this time, so. Just like last year, I did normal. This year, I'm gonna be doing remixes. I'm gonna do try to do the best and make the best um, versions of Christmas music as possible, so you guys can enjoy and I, as well I can enjoy as well. So let's get started. So what you want to do it is that you want to you for streaming your your games or anything like that is that you're gonna to have to go into the Google Play Store and search up Ace Screen. A, a screen, a screen stream, and it's gonna show up as like, like this, as you can see here, where oh, my, my screen has water on it uh, for some reason, and you're gonna see this. So this rat app is actually unreleased quite yet, so you can actually download this and test it for him. Um, I'm actually testing; it's been working great for me. The only thing I dislike about it is uh. Is that when you actually stream and you try to like such as a reloaded weapon or or trying to get to a menu, you're gonna have to like go under the button really, really, really hard and uh, or, or over there like this. You see how this is, and you to not open the menu, drop down menu, and this won't override your um your video or your stream. And uh, and anybody who's actually seeing the stream won't be able to see those controls except you. So that's really good. There's some features I don't know because I don't really um, really look at them. Really, I don't pay attention to them, and I don't really know what they actually do. So I try just to stream, style and stop when I need to, and that's basically what I can do. Um, so there is an option actually when you do stream. If you actually drop accidentally drop down the menu, there's an X on the on the first option, and it will just it won't end the stream. It'll just it will just bring that drop down box um, of, of options back to where it was but you'll only be able to you'll see the name in the stream and as well on your screen so that's really sucks about it and this is unreleased so it's, there's no pro version just quite yet for this so that's how basically how it works so I'm gonna show you on how it actually works and basically what you're gonna be doing is when you actually install it and you go into the application itself you're actually default by twitch you'll get some some an introduction tutorial when you actually first launch it but when you actually want to stream to you, you can stream to Facebook, custom server, Twitch, and YouTube. That's so far. So custom server allows you to that if you have a, a, a different server that you want to stream on, such as if it's on uh, um, Daily Motion, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and they give you a ser server URL, RTMP. It must be RTMP um, URL, and uh, you can actually press on here and change what you want the, the rotation to be. Landscape or or and you want or core overlay with the stream or show touches and you just click this orange button on the top right, um top right corner to actually start your stream for YouTube users um if you're gonna stream on YouTube you don't have to change anything you just have a RMT which is the same thing so when you actually go to live streaming on your YouTube dashboard you'll have uh, the stream options to set up you can actually change the name it doesn't really matter and when you actually start it it will go onto that stream by RTMP um so I'll call forward slash forward slash a dot rtmp dot youtube dot com slash live two. So that's pretty much it. You have also have the option camera overlay, face camming, show touches, and orientation. My orientation I usually set is landscape. It's landscape, so in case anything I, I you know show will just be a landscape completely. And when you actually click on this and you're wondering how do you sign into your YouTube account? Well, Basically, when you actually launch this little button here, it's gonna ask it's gonna ask you for your Google login details, and you just all you have to do is allow it to to manage your YouTube account so it can be able to stream and provide um, video video um, streaming to your um, to your channel. However, the only bad thing about I, I hate about this is that there is a delay. So there's a delay when people see your video. So for say for example, for, say for example, say I'm streaming. Uh, uh, Infinite Warfare on my phone, for example, um, and the game just ended. But on the stream, the game hasn't ended, so there's a de there's a delay. There's a delay, so you end the game. Your game ends, then a few seconds or 10, 20 seconds later, 
then on the stream, the game actually ends. So there is a delay for that, and that's why you've been seeing delays of for a couple of things, and that's pretty much sucks about it. So what else you want to do is to is to stream is to record pre-record your videos. This is for pre-recorded um, only. If you if you don't seem want to stream it, but you just want to create tutorials for you on your phone. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to go into the Google Play Store, and go down, and then type, go back to Google Search and click in AD. Type in ADV. You just don't have to do anything else. Just click A. Just type in ADV, and it'll search up AVD ADV Screen Recorder. What this allows you to do, which I'm doing right now, this is how I'm, I'm, I'm recording this video, uh, is um, it allows you to pre-record on your screen, and and that's pretty much what it actually does. So you can pre-record it, edit it if you want to, and it's actually you can share it through the app, the video through the app, and there's actually a folder that this actually records to in your phone, so you can actually have access to it, edit it on your phone, or take it to your PC and copy it to your PC, and that's pretty much what it is. It does. On um, Lollipop, it's called screencasting because it's not, it's not, it does not require root. It's called screencasting because screencasting, what it is, is it takes a video of your screen and it can, it, it can either project it to another, another device or through an application that, that is recording your, on your, you're doing on your screen. So that's pretty much what, what this is. And what I really do like about this is that you can actually change the um, options of, of, uh, of how the quality you want, if you want these devices resolution, uh, if you want how, you use, how many um, MPBS you want it to be, how much mean, speed of it, and how many FPS you want it to be, 30, 24, 25, 26, and 30. Uh, and it goes all up to 60 FPS, and this is what I'm actually doing now. And so I'm doing a 60 FPS automatic frame, frame rate per second. And uh, so that's pretty much what it is. You can as well do face camming, which I'm not doing right now. You can as well use Magic Button, just as well Magic um, um, Recording Engine, which allows you that supports pause, pause, but using the default, it doesn't support pause, so you can't really do anything. You can actually disable Magic Button, which is usually, um, which usually you don't see around this video right now, which usually be, be if you don't have that enabled or disabled. Um, what will happen is that you'll have a whole Magic Button, which the, with the viewer, which is you. Well, will be able to see, and you will be able to see while you're streaming the videos, and it can become become a very big problem because when you're trying to click on something, that thing's in the way, and it can stop the recording. So that's pretty much how this actually works. So that's how you can actually record through your phone. There is another, there are other options such as LOP, and LOP is another screen recorder, but I don't recommend. I used to use it. Uh, stop screen. So depending on your device, it might not show, but it is kind of confusing, I know. And uh, and it depends on how you actually type in, depending on your device. So it seems like it doesn't want to show up on this one. This it's just weird. I have it in my actually download list, but is it some reason? Some for some reason, Google Play doesn't want to actually show it. So you can actually search up. YouTube stream um, applications, YouTube recording, there's LOP, there's Mirror from Synergen, but it's not a great recording app. So I'm thinking ADV is the best way, one for your pre-recordings, and uh, and uh, A-Stream is the best one for streaming your apps without having to do, deal with um, payment, paying anything, but I, it can change when it does releases. So that's pretty much what it is is about. So I hope you guys did enjoy. This tutorial, I really enjoyed making it, and I and I know understand that it's probably in the morning by the time I upload this, and you're in wherever you are, or you're probably asleep, and you just turned on, your, you turned on your telly or your PS4 or your mobile device, and you just saw this pop up. So uh, don't forget, I'm gonna be posting another one um, of this of another music video today. Um, by the time this video uploads, I'll probably a couple of hours or like early in the day or like an evening. I don't know when, but. There's going to be another music video, and it's up to you guys. You can also well request on any of those videos I upload for music videos for Christmas. You can actually request in the comments. What do you want to see next? As I said, there's going to be 25 days of Christmas. I know I have been lacking on them, and I know there's not been a lot of videos since Thanksgiving. But don't worry. I'm extending the time from from yesterday to uh, to till, gen till January 1st. So that's the la January first is the last day is the, is the last day you'll see a Christmas mu Christmas 
music video. And then we'll go back to normal with with the rest of the entire year. So I'll be actually be doing this next year, every year, every year I'll be doing a Christmas music video so you guys should enjoy the Christmas holiday on my channel. And that's pretty much how I work. So this year is for Christmas videos, um, it's just remixes, um, dubstep, house music, everything that you can think of are remixes. But there are going to be fan favorites um, remixes, so you don't want to you don't want to miss out those things. So, but if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like and as well, don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Peace out.